Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today I am doing something very special and new for you guys. It is time for a new Let's Play on my channel and today we are going to be taking a little look at Dragon Age Origins. Now the reason for this is that I put out a video basically asking people what they wanted to see and a lot of people said that they wanted to see either Dragon Age and if they didn't say Dragon Age then they gave another RPG as an example. So I thought, well, why not give this a go? I've never played it before, so please excuse me. I'm a bit of a noob on that front. I don't know all the lore and how to play it. But we're going to go into a new game. And I'll be quiet if there's any loading cutscenes or anything like that, which I'm sure there will be. Okay, right, so there's no voiceover. And so... <laughs> and so is the Golden City blackened. With each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon the world. How ominous. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Blimey, so we couldn't have got much more of an ominous opening. Okay, so this is obviously going to be the character generation, which is probably something I'm going to spend a little bit of time on, depending on how much detail it allows us to go into. Right, the background you select will determine which of the six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Good to know. Okay, so I think we're going to play a male, obviously, because I am male. Race. Now, there's three races we can choose from. Human. The most numerous, yet the most divided of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. Religion and Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. 
Okay, so get plus one strength, plus one dexterity, plus one magic, and plus one cunning. Right, so then you can play as an elf. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture, scrounging in impoverished living in the slums in, of human cities. Only the nomadic Dalish tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests. Welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Okay. So plus two willpower and plus two magic. So I'm assuming that different races are going to have different benefits really for the different classes so for example you get plus two willpower and plus two magic so i would assume that you'd be an elf mage for example which is probably what i'm gonna do if i'm honest and dwarf rigidly bound by caste and tradition the dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the darkspawn dwarves are very tough and high of high resistance even to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from becoming mages. Okay, so strength, dexterity, constitution. Right, okay. So basically, I have to choose one of these. Uh, I would assume that perhaps it'd be best becoming a noble as a human, perhaps. A mage as an elf. And perhaps a warrior as a... I don't know what to go as now, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm thinking this... You know that magic is a curse for those lacking to the will to control it. You anxiously wait your harrowing. One chance to prove yourself against demons. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so warrior. Class benefits. What were the, There's no class benefits to this one. There are, however, class benefits to the rogue. Right, okay then. So willpower, dexterity, and cunning. I don't know really what's going to help what, but I want to be an elf. I think we're going to go... It just seems a bit weird that... Why would you choose the magi if you can't... Oh, God. All right, fine. We'll be a human. We'll be a human. No. No. Okay, the classes are changing. What the hell is going on here? Okay, dwarf. Dwarf rogue. Sounds fun. Let's do a dwarf rogue. <laughs> Got there eventually. Uh, background. Okay. Dwarf commoner. Born castless in the land where rank is everything. Bound to the lackey and the thug of local, local crime lord. You have spent your life invisible until chance thrusts you into the spotlight where you can finally prove whether you are defined by your actions or your birth. Or a noble. As the favoured child of the dwarven king, you proudly take up your first military command only to learn that the deadly injuries of family and sick offence may pose a greater danger than even the battlefield. I think we're going to be a Dwarf Noble, because that sounds cool. Greetings. Damn, okay. So, the presets. I don't like presets, we're going to go straight on to this. Skin complexion. I want to be sort of a... Yes, a middle-aged sort of skin tone, oh dear. Maybe something like this. Tattoo, we're going to have tattoos on our face. Why not? Would nobles have tattoos on their face? I don't see why they couldn't, really. Tattoo colour? Well, that's not really... Oh, we could... We Tell you what we could do. We could do this and then turn down the tattoo intensity. So it was a bit more like that. Yes. Yes, I like that indeed. I do apologise if you don't actually enjoy character creation, because that is what this episode is going to be. Next time, we're going to get into the main story part of it, so do bear with me. Now, hair. I want some flowing locks, like Thor in Oakenshield. Because he is epic. Mind you, I don't know whether they're actually going to have that as a preset hairstyle. But we'll give it a go if we can. Now, that is not flowing locks at all. <laughs> We're probably going to go, if I'm perfectly honest, with something like this. Yeah, why not? Is there a braid that we can put in it? Damn, that is an epic beard. This one has a braid in it. I think, actually, I'm going to go for this. Because dwarves, it's all about the braids. Hang on, let's go for the beard now. Blimey, these are very in-depth beard styles. I think I might attempt to grow that one. That looks <laughs> very promising with the ladies. This one's pretty cool, though. I quite like this. Yes, okay. And then hair colour. We're going to go with a sort of light brown. I think that's fine. I was looking at the black, but I think it looks a bit sort of... You lose all the detail if you have the black, so we're not going to go with that one. In terms of the eyebrows, we're going to have thick eyebrows. Perhaps these ones. Stubble. 
Now what is this doing? Is this up the sides? Okay, I see. Yes, yeah, so we can have stubble as well. Like so. I don't know why it's a different colour, but it makes sense in my mind. The eyes, are, to be perfectly honest, are fine. They look nice, I suppose. What I might do is put some darker eyes. Maybe green eyes. That might be nice. Not that we're ever going to see this either, but there we are. Okay, and then the nose. Again, I don't really see what's wrong with the nose. I suppose we could just see what the other ones look like. Go with something like that instead, I suppose. That looks kind of nice. <laughs> oh. Okay, right, yes, we're going to go with that one. Right, and then aside from that, I can't be asked. So we're going to go with this. Neck, ear height. These aren't really things that we're going to notice. Oh, this is our portrait, I see, okay. I assume this is going to be present in the game throughout, so I'd quite like to get this so it's not completely retarded. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're going to have him in the middle, looking... Up and maybe to the right, like so. These backgrounds are a bit weird. We'll have that one, I suppose. <laughs> he looks very confused there. Oh, is it bad that I kind of I'm tempted to go with that? Hey, I'm a happy dwarf. Uh, maybe not. Maybe something stern. Eh? No, I I quite like that one. Okay. I have lost the spell. Have you? That's good to know. How do you do? No, that doesn't Greetings. fit. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Greetings. I think we're going to go with the Graf Wise Dwarf. Okay, and the name Parky. Can I not change the surname? No, I cannot. Parky. A Dun Duncan or Dukan. A Dukan? Parky A Dukan. Sounds legit. Okay, and then we're gonna attribute some points. Now obviously we are what are we again? A rogue. Okay, so we're gonna probably want some higher dexterity. Uh, which improves the chance to hit, makes a, makes us uh, better at dodging attacks. And we're gonna be good with daggers or arrows. Archery. Damn, okay. Cunning uh, how well a character learns and reasons. Okay, constitution I assume is health. Yeah, okay, well we're going to put one in that I think. Strength as well, I think we're going to put one in that. Maybe a couple in dexterity, so I've got a feeling that's going to be important. Willpower, mental fortitude, mages can cast, so that's actually not going to be helpful at all. Oh, we could actually subtract, no we can't subtract points, never mind. Okay, we're going to put one in cunning as well. Because I'm not really sure how effective these are going to be, or how important they are going to be to my cause. These are things we're going to learn. Blimey. Okay, so we've got some skills as well. So currently we have poison making. Okay. Combat training. Unless, yeah, no, we don't actually have these re 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 yet. Okay, now what are we going to go for? Stealing? Trap making? Survival? Can detect the presence of nearby creatures below the character's own level. Grants a small bonus to nature resistance. That sounds pretty cool. What is this? Improved combat training. I bet we can't even afford that, can we? Warriors and rogues gain access to second tier weapon talents, as well as bonus to stamina regeneration. Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, right, well that seems like probably a good thing to go for. Combat tactics. Can formulate strategies quickly in battle. I don't know. I'm feeling like we should just go... Oh, God. I hate this sort of thing. Too many choices. We can become a thief. Stealing might be fun. I do like stealing things. Good enough logic for me, anyway. I'm sure people would disagree, but we'll have more chances, I'm sure, to put things in there. Dirty fighting. Okay, right, so below the belt. Dual weapon archery. Okay, so these are talents we're putting them in. Right, below the belt. Uh, uh, okay, we can kick a target. That doesn't sound very fun. Opening locks and spotting traps. 
Steady Grip giving the character a bonus when picking locks or disarming traps. Stealth. Okay, dual weapon. Character become more proficient with fighting with two weapons and now deals closer to normal damage bonus with an offhand weapon. That would be quite good if we had double daggers, I'm assuming. What is the difference between these, though? Dual striking. Let's put double weapons in, because I think that would be quite cool to uh, dual world. Uh, okay, and then aside from that, I'm thinking maybe archery. At the same time, I'm not sure. I think maybe not archery now I think about it. Stealth would be nice. Although, am I actually going to be that good? Below the belt or deft hands? Let's do deft hands instead. There we go. Uh, we're going to go on normal difficulty because I'm a noob. Obviously, I've never played this before. I don't think it'd be particularly wise going on hard. I'm not going to go on easy because that's ridiculous. Right, click on a foe to attack. Use a talent like Pinning Shot or a spell like Winter's Grasp by left clicking on the ability in your quick bar. Then left clicking on the enemy if the ability requires a target. For area of effect, spells like Flame Blast and Mark on the Ground indicates the location affected. Okay, so this isn't going to help us particularly, but so I, literally I know nothing about this game, which is probably not the best idea going into this. However, I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for those of you who like seeing me fail at things, which is likely to happen. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozimar, the larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozimar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozamar's impregnable construction, the Dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endrin of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue, and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission, the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. Thank you. I look swanky, don't I? I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Uh, do I not speak? Okay, uh, yes, I can see me as a warrior. Better safe than sorry. Shield me, leave it. Don't want to look fearful. Oh, God. Um, do I want to wear my shield? I'm sure it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's yeah, see me as a warrior. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. Uh, you, you, my friend, are ridiculous. One can't take all this marching about and speech-making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Um, okay. Uh... What shall we do in the meantime? Perhaps get an ale from the local pub? As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Ah. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Okay. Proving ground sounds appealing. Let's go have a look. Um, hmm. Well, we could go to the merchants, but I think this will be more interesting. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. Good to know. Oh my god. Okay, this is not what I expected at all. Tutorial. Tactical view. The game can be played from a variety of... Ta bleh, bloody hell. Variety of tactical viewpoints. <laughs> Use the mouse wheel to bring your camera down to exploration mode. Whilst paused, you can order issues to your character. Issue orders, even. Right-click your desired destination. Um, okay, I'll go over here. 
issuing orders. So your character can now move, now has a move order. You can issue orders in real time or whilst pause. Press space to unpause now. Oh, it's saving. That's good. New codex. All things are coming up on my screen. New quest. Bloody hell. Items received. Oh god, this is me apparently. Right, okay, so weapons. We don't have a weapon. We have some lesser health poultices. And some armour. No, actually, we don't have any armour. Oh, our weapons are here. Right, okay. Derp. Right. I'm sure there's a lot to look into. But this is not what I was expecting. If I'm compl Oh, I can use WASD. That's quite nice. Yeah, I was expecting like a sort of first person thing, but there we are. Right. Okay then, well if you've enjoyed the first episode and want to see more, please leave your suggestions in the feedback below. Also leave a like because it lets me know that you're actually looking forward to the idea of this series and want to see more, and it also really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>